Hi everyone, Elon here. I wanted to share something really insightful with you today. So if you've ever been worried about something happening or not happening in your life, um, this video is going to be incredibly powerful for you. And the tips that I'm going to share with in this video are incredibly powerful, uh, I hope, for you. And I'm also going to share a very personal story with you. So Recently, um, especially in my meditation practice, I've gone through and, and done this kind of work. And before I talk to you about what the actual work is, I want to share with you some of the things that still come up for me, even though I've done 15 years of this type of transformational work. And I don't want you to hear this as, well, what does that mean about Elon? You know, he's done all this work, this stuff still comes up. What I want you to understand in what I'm about to share is that as you keep doing this work, what it allows you to do is allows you to keep digging deeper and deeper and deeper. And eventually what you come to is what we call core wounds. These are things that are the oldest of the programs, things that have been um, in that you've programmed from a very young age and over time have just supported with more and more and more proof. So Something that just occurred for me this morning was I was meditating and I had this notion or fear come up around what if I were to lose everything. And by lose everything, I mean, you know, bank account, go back to zero, uh, losing the house again, thoughts that I honestly haven't had since probably 2010, 2011, when literally my life was, was kind of going through that process and my house was in foreclosure and I was living in unemployment checks and all of this stuff. And so I'm sitting in there and uh, this thought arises. And it honestly caught me a bit by surprise. And I don't know how many of you guys have reached maybe certain levels of success. And then you find that what you do is uh, we self-sabotage ourselves to kind of like knock us back down. And that's not, I know that a lot of people will tell you, well, that's just kind of very normal and things like that. Well, I'm, I'm here to share with you that it's not normal. In other words, it's not the way that life needs to be lived. Um, all that's happening is that the things that you worry about are manifesting. So that which you worry and think about the most, like, oh my God, if I lose this, what is that? that's what you're actually manifesting. So it makes sense that people self-sabotage themselves because they're not dealing with the internal things, they're dealing with the external things. And so the practice that I wanna share with you guys here today is a practice of going inwards and actually communicating with the part of you that is releasing this fear. So what do I mean by that? Consider for a second here that there's the, you, the adult version of you, and inside of you, there's what we call your inner child. This is the part of you that has never really grown up. It's, you know, imagine like a five or six year old version of you inside. And that five or six year old version, it's, its job, if you will, is to keep you safe, to stop you from feeling the hurt and the pain that, that you felt at some point in your life. So, for example, coming back to me, if I were to lose everything, right? I, I've kind of had, I didn't lose everything, but I had that experience of almost losing everything, right? That time you can imagine for myself and also my inner child was very, very difficult. And more than that, if I keep going back, then what the real issue, and this is a question that you can ask yourself is, what part of me is scared. What part of me is worried about us losing everything? And what I came to today in my meditation was really, really profound, which was your inner child wants to be loved and it wants to be accepted. It wants to belong. There are things that it believes it will not be loved, accepted, or belong if it isn't a certain way. So for example, for me, if I were to lose everything, my inner child would make that mean that I'm a loser and that everyone in my life would make fun of me and they wouldn't accept me and I wouldn't be great and all of that kind of stuff. And that's what this little child believes. So now 
the way that I take on this practice, and this might not work for you if you're not a parent, but I'm sure you can figure out some way to do this. I've actually started envisioning my inner child not as my little, like a little version of me that I'm talking to. Rather, I actually speak to, like I'd imagine if I was speaking to Shia. And Shia's almost six, he'll be turning six in August. And if Shia came to me and told me, you know, if, if this and this happens, I don't think you're gonna love me or people won't love me or I'm gonna be a loser um, or anything like that, right? Then I would have a very interesting conversation with him, right? Because I unconditionally love him and I want him to know that he doesn't need to show up a certain way. He doesn't need to have certain accomplishments. And likewise for me, you know, what the conversation I had with my inner child today while meditating is like, look, I will love you no matter what. You don't have to have a certain dollar amount in your bank account. You don't have to have a certain size business. You don't have to live in the home that you do or drive the car that you do. I will love you no matter what. You are amazing. You're a soul. You're a piece of God. And no matter what you do and how you show up, that's you. And I will love you no matter what. And I can honestly tell you that in this moment while I was meditating, I actually felt a release, like a full on body release where all this tension and stress and aches in my body just melted away. So I'm offering you this because every single human being, I believe there's something right now that your inner child believes that if it didn't show up a certain way or if it didn't produce a certain result or X, Y, and Z, it won't be loved. It's not good enough. My version of it is I'm a loser. That's the story. My inner child believes that if it doesn't do X, Y, and Z, it's a loser. And this shows up when I play tennis, this shows up in certain coaching calls. Like this is something I've become very, very aware of. And I've, I have many, many tools that I can use in order to have these conversations. Now that stuff might never go away till the day I die. That stuff might never go away and it doesn't run me. You get that? It's a part of me, a part of me that I love and adore because it's always showing me the next level for my growth, the next opportunity in my life to expand my ability to receive love, to receive abundance, to receive connections and partnerships, all of it. And so today I want to share with you this tool in hopes that you look at areas of your life where your inner child is hurt and scared and feels like it won't deserve love or it's not good enough or smart enough or anything else. And that you can go internal and have that kind of dialogue with your inner child as you would with a five or six year old, maybe your son or daughter to let that inner child know that it will be loved no matter what. And in that, what you're doing is you're releasing all of these self-sabotaging thoughts, all of the worries of, oh my God, what if this happens, which you end up manifesting, you release all of that and you now allow for a whole new level of abundance and creation and you allow to receive things that are there waiting to be a part of your life and you've just been pushing them away because of this uh, attachment to lack and scarcity in your life. So I hope this vis video resonates with you and I hope that you take this practice on in your life and really start doing this internal work instead of always looking for the external things to fix and uh, change. Love you guys. Have an amazing day.